This is the Strawberry DNA Lab, where you get to extract the DNA from a strawberry. It's really fun and easy to do, and pretty hard to mess this lab up. For this lab, you will need some strawberries, a Ziploc bag, salt, dish soap, water, a coffee filter, plastic cup, pipette, rubbing alcohol, and a test tube. The rubbing alcohol needs to be cold, so go ahead and place it in the freezer before you begin. Next, make a soapy, salty solution by adding soap and salt to some water and mixing it up. And no need to measure exact amounts, just pour a little of each in and mix it right up. Each group will need about 20 milliliters of a solution for this lab. After that, go ahead and get a strawberry, place it in your Ziploc bag, and try to get as much air out of the bag as possible before closing it. Then go ahead and carefully mash up the strawberry for about a minute. Once the strawberry is thoroughly mashed, Get the 20 milliliters of soapy salty solution and add it to the bag. Then take another 30 seconds to go ahead and mix it up and mash it up a little bit more. Then go ahead and get your plastic cup and filter. Push the filter into the top of the cup and wrap it around the outside. Go ahead and pour the contents of your mashed up strawberry into the filter and be sure to hold the filter on so it doesn't fall to the bottom of the cup as you're doing this. The process of filtering it will take several minutes, so now you can take some time to go ahead and prepare the test tube with your cold isopropyl alcohol. Filling the test tube about half full works pretty well for this lab. Once a fair amount of liquid has collected in the bottom of the plastic cup, Use the pipette to transfer two or three full pipettes of liquid into the test tube. Shortly after, you can see the less dense DNA will begin to separate from the solution as a tangled blob. It takes a minute or so for the DNA to float to the top. It's fun to take a paper clip and bend it into a hook in order to take a closer look at the DNA. This lab is always a hit, and it still to this day amazes me how easy it is to actually get the DNA out of a strawberry. Just for fun, I took some of the DNA and put it under a microscope, so here you can see some of the images that I got from doing this. <laughs> 